The truth. This is a true story which I have eyewitnessed. It had happened when I was working at a factory in Sun Dong. That morning, when I started to kick off my working day which I got used to very well, there was no difficulties as my first days. Suddenly, our leader Kevin came and asked after my roommate, Hey! Have Steve came for work? I haven't seen him yet. He had asked me out since he knew Steve and I were sharing a dorm room. I remembered that Steve went to his friend's birthday party, yesterday, then he backed wasted at 2 in the morning, he might too wasted and still was sleeping. I'm so unsure, he have attended a birthday party and have been overdrunk, he is not awakened yet, I guess, I have left without checking on him. While me and Kevin were chatting, one of our co-workers, Simon rushed to us and let us know a piece of formidable news. Guys. You know what, Steve, Steve. Steve had jumped from the third floor of our dormitory. This was terrified us badly. Me and Kevin hurried to go to the scene of the accident. Steve had been in the way to the hospital by the ambulance. We hurried to go to the hospital then. Luckily, our dorm was a three floors apartment, so it was not that high. Moreover, while Steve had jumped from the, the third floor, he had been stuck in a branch of a tree before he landed to the ground, so he just got scratched over his body and his life had been saved. I had asked him worriedly, what happened Steve, how did you do that? Kevin had also added, everything is able to be sorted out, why you ended up with that stupid solution? The doctor notified us Steve has outed out the woods, but he needed to be hospitalized a few days to keep track. Then Steve was totally awakened, seeing me and Kevin, he had tried to nod his head to say hi to us. Kevin was calmed down after seeing Steve was getting better, started to bombard him with questions, why did you decide to suicide? If there is any difficulty, you gotta tell us, we will sort it out together. Steve had started to be scared, he was quivering and explaining, Kevin, I was not trying to suicide. There was something. Demons, demons pushed me off the rooftop. Steve told us the whole truth. The night before, the night he had took part in his friend's party, he had so much fun and drunk until everyone left. As usual, Steve got home by bus, but it was pretty late, he didn't want to take a cab, so he walked home. Since that place was pretty near by our dorm, a little walk would help to sober him up as well as saved him a little of money. There was a working area in the middle of the way home with a sign, under construction. But he hadn't noticed since he was really drunk, so he had hit the sign. Steve had felt down painfully in the ground, he got exacerbated and tried to stand up. Once he could see what was in front of him, he had startled sweatily. There was a very big hole ahead, he would fall down to that hole if he was not careful, and if he fell down, he would live a disability life or even die. He had stared at the big hole and got angry. Who the hell have dug this big hole, I nearly end my life here, you know, he cursed. To release his anger, he had violently dragged the sign to that hole. And he felt much better after doing it. Right then, he had a wave of nausea. Steve quickly ran toward a wall corner and started vomiting. He had heard a motorcycle sound coming. Surprisingly, he had stood up and seen the motorcycle ride by. He wanted to yell to let them know about the hole, but that was too late. The motorcycle had plunged down to the hole in front of him. He ran towards the hole in hurry. He looked down to the hole and was dumbfounded. A man and a woman had been plunged there unconsciously. They were likely to get severe injuries. They were bleeding badly. Steve had no ideas what to do, so he just left in terrifying. He backed to the room silently. Steve had hide out in his bed and tried to sleep, but he couldn't since he could see the death couple stands in front of him whenever he closed his eyes. In the early morning, when all of his co-workers had wake up and gone for their work, he was a little felt in sleep. 
But no longer later, he had felt that there was someone standing next to his bed. He had slightly opened his eyes to check out. That was the couple last night, they were died. The couple's bodies had been covered by blood, they had come to Steve closer and closer, he had so much frightened so that he have isolated himself at the bed corner. Suddenly, the man got to be angrier and closer to him. Steve had dodged his attacks, so he kept attacking from the above. The women were guarding the door, so Steve was unable to escape by the main door. The only exist to him was the balcony at this point. Too frightened to think, he decided to escape by the balcony or he was gonna be killed by the demon couple. He ran towards the balcony. Steve looked down. This was the third floor. The demons had chased after him to the balcony. They were encircled him with their creepy faces. The man got closer and pushed Steve down. That was too late to defend. Steve had lost his balance and fell down. While felling down, he was still keeping an eye on them. He could clearly see that they were smiling satisfyingly. Steve thought he would be died, but luckily, there was a branch of three in the middle. That branch was his life savior, it was like a mattress, decelerated his fall. That was too shocked to Steve and he had felt to unconsciousness. He gazed up the balcony, the demon couple had disappeared. Me and Kevin had looked at each other and been wondering if what a drunk man said was true. If the whole thing were true, that would be a severe accident, there were a couple had died in the hole. Me and Kevin submitted a day off that day to figure it out. We had found to the place Steve had mentioned. There were indeed an accident and victims were also a couple. But, people said that there were no one die, they had just got some severe injuries so they had been brought to the hospital. To make it clear, me and Kevin had also found the way to the hospital where the couple have been taking their treatment. We found their hospital room easily. The nurses told us, the couple had been brought at the very right time, so their lives could be saved. At first, we tended to come here to clear the scene, but at that moment we were getting more confused. The couple have been alive for sure. So what about the demon couple Steve have talked about? 